solar module shipments uh, in the last quarter were both you know, higher uh, than many of your rivals. What, what's going on there? Why are you being able to ship uh, more modules in a, in a period when there's been very weak demand overall in, in, in the industry? Well, first of all, uh, I want to thank for all my uh, customers, my loyal customers, loyal partners. They're really not only just my customers, they are my partners. Uh, uh, they have demonstrated a strong partnership with Canadian Solar and uh, I appreciate their support. Uh, but it also uh, uh, demonstrated that uh, Canadian Solar has, uh, has built a very diversified uh, sales network and uh, you know, we have diversified uh, channels into uh, over 30 different countries in the world and uh, which allow us to be able to handle the fluctuation from, from any particular country market. That's number one. And number two, you'll probably notice, notice that uh, in Q2, in the second quarter, uh, we have signed contract and shipped into two very large uh, ground-mounted solar projects in Germany. One is 70 megawatt, another one is 81 megawatt. And two projects happen in the same quarter. That, that uh, demonstrate the strong bankability of Canadian solar modules. And I'm, and I'm very pleased that uh, the Canadian solar's uh, quality and also our after-sale service and our, our warranty, you know, all this get uh, endorsed not only by our customers and off-taker investors, but also by the banks. And uh, uh, number three, uh, probably demonstrate that uh, Canadian Solar has a very uh, competitive cost structure so that we can provide modules at the right price, right cost to the marketplace. Well, you mentioned there uh, the cost structure uh, aspect because obviously another important trend that we've seen certainly in the in the first six months of this year is a decline in, in uh, gross margins across the board for many many companies um, but again your results seem to disprove that that's a, a general trend your margins decline less than others what, what's behind that uh, first of all we have expected the uh, module price to go down uh, this year well actually we have made that forecast uh, even in last year uh, so we are prepared. Uh, uh, we have prepared our, our supply chain. We have made sure that our supply chain is flexible. So that, for example, uh, we decided not to sign any long-term uh, silicon, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, polysilicon uh, agreement, so that we can maintain a flexible uh, supply chain. And we have uh, uh, made a strong effort to reduce our processing cost. So all these efforts paid off uh, in last uh, quarter. And uh, so the module price indeed uh, went down, but our cost also went down. So we sustained our gross margin. However, moving into the third quarter and fourth quarter, uh, even Canadian solar uh, will face a lot of challenges uh, because uh, yes, indeed, the uh, module price continue to go down and so we are facing continuous uh, challenges uh, and moving forward. However, in the long run, I think uh, just like every coin have two sides, I think the module and the uh, you know, PV system cost down also has a long-term advantage because that will make solar even more competitive with the conventional energy. So I think we will see solar become great parity, reach great parity uh, even faster. So in long run, I think it's a long, it's a good trend. But in the short, in the sh short term, it's a challenge, a challenge to everybody. And I believe only the strong uh, companies with uh, the de determination and with the resources and uh, also with the scale can survive. Well, you, you mentioned there. Uh where the, where the market dynamics uh, and uh, going forward, we've seen uh, a lot of move with the feeding tariff changes to more residential. That often 
means that uh, the actual installation costs are higher and so the, the, the opportunity to, to get to grid parity obviously is going to take a longer time. But there are certain markets, uh, for instance in the US and Canada, where it's, it's a much more utility uh, scale driven uh, market. What, what's happening there? What, what's going on for, for Canadian solar in those markets? Yeah, first of all, Canadian Solar as a tier one brand, uh, we cover all market. We have good coverage on the residential mar rooftop market, commercial rooftop market, but also in the utility uh, market. And we do have uh, uh, the, have customer demand from all these three markets. Now, let's turn the attention to the uh, uh, utility uh, scale uh, PV market. The Ontario, you know, uh, in Canada and in uh, and in U.S., uh, those market uh, have uh, have demonstrated a strong potential as well. Uh, in Canada, for example, uh, Canadian Solar is building three large uh, project. Uh, at this moment, we are do, building three large project in parallel, and uh, we are the EPC uh, supplier to those markets, and uh, we will have uh, we will achieve uh, significant uh, completion at the end of the year for those projects, and we also develop a, a strong pipeline for the project for 2012. So uh, I believe uh, that you will see a sustaining market sustaining utility scale solar market in Canada and also uh, in US in the next uh, two to three years. Now, uh, uh, moving away from, that, from the utility side uh, for a minute, let's get into production uh, areas. Um, a, a, you know, a previous criticism of the company was it is you know, unbalanced in its uh, uh, production from a, from, as an integrated type of concept. Um, what efforts are, uh, have you been doing to uh, address that imbalance you know, between like, cell production to module production? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, Canadian Solar have uh, a uh, pretty balanced cell to module production. At this moment, our solar cell uh, capacity is about 1.4 gigawatt and our solar module capacity is close to 2 gigawatt. There's a small gap. But there's a gap because uh, we have a few other solar cell partners who supply the high efficiency uh, solar cell to us. So uh, this structure gives us the flexibility to provide more high efficiency solar module to our customers. Uh, so that's why we maintain this kind of uh, uh, this kind of uh, structure. Now moving forward, we will continue to have uh, a similar structure which means uh, we will have uh, uh, near vertical integration from solar cell to solar module side so that we'll be able to bring a new technology such as the high efficiency ALPS solar modules uh, into the marketplace uh, much faster, uh, much efficient uh, than anybody else. So, uh, and moving forward, we will uh, maintain this kind of uh, structure in order to uh, better service our